हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासिफिकेशन एंड रिप्रेजेंटेशन नाउ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल टू वॉच मोर सच वीडियोस नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडेज वीडियो नाउ व्हाई ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज टेकन एज सेपरेट ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री फॉर द टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कार्बन इट इज क्लासीफाइड इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वन कार्बन फॉर्म्स four bonds and carbon has catenation property now what is catenation property now catenation property means that carbon can link with another carbon atom and continuously link with each other to form long chains so this is the catenation property this will continue and this will continue here also it can connect so this is what is known as catenation property next we will come across organic compounds and different kinds of functional groups now let us see simplest organic compound is ch4 that is methane it can be represented as c h H, H, and H. Now let us see what is next. Different functional group adds up to the hydrocarbons. Mainly, organic chemistry comprises of carbon and hydrogen, along with some heteroatom like nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, bromine, iodine, sulfur. Now these forms different types of groups. which attached to the hydrocarbons to form the vast chemistry of organic chemistry now we should know the names of different functional groups for easy learning so let us see let us see the different kinds of functional groups present we are observing these all functional groups here what are the names of these functional groups and how can we remember it easily let me say you now see first one is alcohol or phenols that is o and h second is halide x x here is chlorine or bromine or iodine or fluorine next comes ketone ketone and aldehyde have some similarity they both have c double bond o but ketone bonds with two hydrocarbons or any kind of chains in both sides whereas aldehyde one position is occupied by hydrogen next comes acid group here carbon group is attached with oh group last is in this column is acid halide now this acid halide is attached with c double bond o x x here is also chlorine bromine iodine fluorine next is cyano group cyano group is c triple bond n an isocyano group is just the opposite n triple bond c next comes our ester group now see acid group attached with one o extra to form an ester group an acid anhydride has two carbonyl groups attached with an oxygen in between next we see acid amide now this is a carbonyl group attached with nh2 so we can tell that this carbonyl group attached with oh forms acid this carbonyl group attached with x forms acid halide and this carbonyl group attached with nh2 forms acid amide now amino group this amino group consists of n nh2 if it is second degree that is 2 degree then it will be attached to r r here may be any kind of hydrocarbon or chain and n r1 and r2 may be two hydrocarbon chains or any kind of chains with other functional groups now we see sulfonic acid group let us see sulfonic acid group it consists of so3h thiol group sh sulfoxide group s double bond o and two os attached to both sides nitro group consists of no2 nitroso group consists of nitrogen and oxygen and ether group is oo that is 
hydrocarbon can be attached from here and here from both sides clear so it is o bonded to both hydrocarbons or any kind of groups in both sides now let us go to next slide now different kinds of representation of an organic compound suppose let us take an organic compound that is ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 now what are the ways to represent this compound let us see now see this one this is one kind of representation where we open each of the bonds and show this is a shorthand representation in which we just write the carbons attached without showing any alphabets here this one is known as flying wedge formula this is the newman's projection and this one is sawhorse now how do we represent this will be shown next now let us know the names this is the long hand formula this is the short hand formula this is flying wedge projection this is newman projection and this is sawhorse proje projection now we are observing the molecule from this side now the ones which are in this bond that is this is known as wedge bond they are above the plane and ones which are in dash bonds they are below the plane let us consider the plane of the video as the reference plane so the hydrogen just near to us is represented as the hydrogen in the wedge and the hydrogen below the plane is represented by dash so this is the representation now let us go to the next slide let us first number the carbons this is number 1 carbon this is number 2 carbon this is 3 and this is 4 now see 1 2 3 4 correct now this hydrogen is this hydrogen right and this hydrogen is this hydrogen these two hydrogens are in plane with the carbon chain but this hydrogen this hydrogen this hydrogen and this hydrogen are towards us that is this one this one this one and this one we are seeing from here right so these are towards us now let us see the other carbon other hydrogens attached now the hydrogens attached in the dash position are below the plane so it is away from us so this one this one this one and this one so the hydrogens will be this one this one this one and this one so we have already observed how to represent in a flying wedge formula the ones groups which are towards us are represented with a wedge and ones which are away from us are represented by a dash okay let us go to the sawhorse projection now we know that this carbons are numbered as 1 2 3 4 now we just take the 2 and 3 carbon in a tilted line this is the 2 carbon this is the 3 carbon so we just move this carbon towards us by this direction so this has moved here see this diagram so this one this ch3 group that is the one here this ch3 group is this ch3 group which is present here and this below CH3 group is here right so what we have observed that the hydrogen which was here that is the hydrogen which was towards us has come here right 
and this one has come here and the ones which were away from us that is this one and this one which was below the plane has come in the left hand side right and the CH3 one which was here has come up here and the CH3 which was here that is below has also come in the below position. So, this is how we convert the flying wedge projection to sawhorse projection. Now, we will come to Newman projection. Now, see this, this one very carefully. This bond is important. Now, for Newman, we will just bring this carbon 2 towards us more so that the carbon 2 and 3 will be in a straight line. So, let us see. This was the diagram previously, right? Now, we are rotating this. That is, we are rotating this towards us, this carbon, carbon number 2. So, it has come more near towards us. This is the bond. Now, this bond is getting shadowed or eclipsed right now when it comes more near to us. Now, let us see. Now, this one, the bond has already been eclipsed. See, this bond has already been eclipsed. So, 2 and 3 carbon is present in this position. This 2 is completely eclipsing the 3 carbon and we are not being able to see this. So, when we number it, we number as this one as 1 carbon which is above, 2 carbon that is which we can see this is the 2 carbon which is white portion. The one below this carbon which is eclipsed is 3 and this one is 4. So, this is how we converted the Sohos proje projection into the Newman projection. Now, we will see some examples of some functionalized organic compound. The same molecule which we have taken previously the compound that is CH3 CH2, CH2, CH3. We are just replacing one of the hydrogen with the functional groups right now. So, let us see. Here, hydrogen is replaced by OH group. This is an alcohol. Here, uh, hydrogen is replaced by X group and here by a cyano group. Next, we come across a ketone. Now, we take two methyl groups in both sides. CH3 is known as methyl groups. For this case, for aldehyde, we take only one CH3 in one side. Next is our al acid, carboxylic acid. Now, we take here the whole chain. Previously, this much was there with the CH3. So, we are adding COH. Similarly, for this one, this is an ester group. So, we have taken an ester with the same chain as here and OCH3, CH3 is the extra one, right. Next, something extra. Now, how we can replace one functional group with another? Now, suppose we consider this one. We know this to be an acid group. On adding an alcohol to the acid group, here, the water gets eliminated out, okay, and we get an ester group, right, we get an ester group. Now, let us see for this one. We know this to be an acid group. Again, if we add such a reagent, this acid group will be replaced by an acid chloride group. So, this OH gets replaced by an chlorine. So, this is how we can easily change one functional group to another. Now, there is a checkpoint available here. Please take a screenshot and try to de do these on your own. A solution video will come from this checkpoint. So, this much for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like, share, comment. Thank you.